Hi there, it's Amy from Cakes With Faces and welcome back to my series about cute, funny and strange gachapon from Japan. Gachapon are the capsule toys you get from machines and you find them everywhere in Japan. Any city centre areas that have got shops and games arcades, you'll find them just on the street and inside arcades as well. And quite a few major stations have banks of gachapon now too. They're always bringing out new series and as you go around, you'll see the popular ones repeated in different places, but there's so much variety and it's really fun to hunt through them all. If you're new to my channel, have a look at my Gachapon challenge videos. We went around Akihabara trying to find the best and the strangest Gachapon we could. And then you guys voted for the winners in the comments. We've done the challenge twice and both the videos are in my Gachapon playlist. And there's new Japan videos every other week on Thursdays if you want to subscribe. Now onto the gachapon. Every time I make a gachapon video, there seems to be a new sort of gachapon ring. We've had lots of good ones. There's been sushi rings, lots of different tin can rings. There's been takoyaki gachapon with octopus rings inside. We've had all sorts. And now, what's new in Gachapon rings? We've got strawberry rings, or wait for it, strawberry rings. Does that work? I love these. There's strawberry shortcake, delicious, traditional Japanese strawberry daifuku, donuts, and macarons. And the best part is, they come in a strawberry. The Gachapon capsule is a giant strawberry. It's so cute. Quite often I throw away the Gachapon capsules so I can fit them in my suitcase better, but you definitely have to keep these ones. But that's not the only Gachapon ring series I've got for you today. I've got another one. I love Yoke 2. It's the second series. We must have somehow missed the first series. Maybe I love Yoke is supposed to sound like I love you. I'm not sure. And the theme is various egg dishes. There's an egg rice bowl an egg mayo roll from the convenience store, which would look very strange if you were wearing it as a ring, a tamago nigiri, classic, and there's even a chick, which might be a bit much. It's kind of off the food theme, but they are what eggs are supposed to be for, so okay. And the eggs on toast are definitely the best one. And they come in an egg-shaped capsule. Well, all Gachapon capsules are egg-shaped really, but these are particularly egg-shaped with cartoon zigzag cracks and everything. And as this is series two, if you were wondering what series one was like, here it is. That one's got more basic boiled and fried eggs. There's that chick again, and there's an omu rice. This is the graphic that you see in the front of the Gachapon machine. And in the background, you can see a couple proposing. How romantic. And they're also in series two, so it looks like they must have said yes. And who could resist? Surely anyone would say yes just to get their egg mayo roll ring. Next, have you ever had a meeting or been going out somewhere and got dressed up all smart, you're ready to go, and then you realise you're wearing your lunch, you've dropped food down yourself? Well now, you can recreate that, if you want to, with these gachapon brooches. This one's a piece of fried chicken, the spaghetti, udon noodles, and the tail of a shrimp tempura. There's a piece of chewing gum. There's something kind of disgusting about that one. And pepperoni from a pizza. And a whole piece of fish cake from ramen. It's called Naruto. Surely you'd notice if that was stuck to your front. And as a bonus, there's also a dry cleaning tag. Who would wear these? Or how about these brooches? They're hamuketsu, which means hamster bottoms. There was a whole thing a while back in Japan about how cute hamster bottoms are. And these are plushy hamster bottoms with a pin on the back, so you can wear them as brooches. It makes it look like there's a tiny hamster trying to burrow its way through you. That's actually something that happens a lot with my hamster kaiju. He's always trying to hide away and burrow into somewhere cosy. Or sometimes this next one is a lot like my hamster. They're pets giving a press conference to apologise for bad behaviour. We do all love our pets, but sometimes they do get up to mischief and they don't always do what they're supposed to. With these ones, you can line them all up to make a whole press conference table to issue their apology. What would your pets need to apologise for? This next one is pretty cool. You collect the gachapon to make your own mini conveyor belt sushi restaurant. Each capsule includes a section of the conveyor belt and some plates of sushi or some accessories. And then you put them together to make your mini restaurant. 
and it includes everything you'd find at a real kaiten sushi conveyor belt sushi restaurant. There's even a pot of pickled ginger and green tea with cups that you can help yourself to with a tap that supplies hot water. You need to buy quite a lot of these ones, but it wouldn't matter if you got the same one twice. I think they're definitely on to a winner. And then I found another sushi gachapon that's even better. This one's called Guru Guru Panic Conveyor Belt Sushi. Guru Guru means round and round, and this one actually goes round just like sushi on a conveyor belt. It's clockwork, so you wind it up and the sushi actually goes round, and you have to try and pick it off the belt with the chopsticks. It looks really tiny. At real sushi restaurants in Japan, real size ones, not miniature ones, they actually set the speed of the conveyor belt so you don't panic. The best speed is said to be four centimeters per second. If it's any slower, people get bored waiting for the sushi to come along. And if it's faster, it makes people stressed. You don't have enough time to decide what to get and grab it before it's gone. So in real life, there's no guru guru panic. Next is another strange one. We've got underwear for your phone. Fundoshi are traditional Japanese underwear for men. They're what people used to wear before boxers and briefs came along. They're kind of similar to what sumo wrestlers wear. Now loincloths are made to cover up the parts you don't want everyone to see. And on your phone, these are covering up the microphone. So I don't know what that means. Anyway, there's several different designs. There's traditional plain white and red. There's patterns. This one has the kanji for man. There's leopard print, exotic, and a nice design of Mount Fuji. Very stylish. Next, this bread has grown legs and come alive. The series is called Ikiteru Pan, which means living bread. And it's proof that things don't have to have faces to be completely adorable. Look at those chunky little legs. They look like they'd make nice pets. Which one's your favorite? There's a standard loaf of bread, a bread roll. This is supposed to be French bread. There's a pretzel, which looks a bit like a handbag in a way, a croissant and a melon pan. In a strange way, they're all very cute. Now, when you go to Japan, there's various situations when you might bow to people, like when you're saying thank you, arigato, when you're saying sorry, or when you leave a restaurant, the staff might bow to you and how much you bow depends on the situation. So if it's quite informal, you might just nod your head slightly, or if you really mean it, you'll bend right over from the waist. And that's what this gachapon is all about. Different sorts of bows demonstrated by cats. They go from a slight head bow to a proper bow to fully bent over at the waist to kneeling on the ground. And this one's completely on the floor, the ultimate sign of humility. Just look at how solemn and serious they are. This next one's a bit less humble. It's a play on words. You know the Maneki Neko lucky cat statues with the waving arms? Neko means cat. Well, what if they weren't Maneki Nekos, but mannequin Nekos? This gachapon has mannequins from shop windows that are like Maneki Neko lucky cat statues. We've got the classic sitting down pose, holding a coin with one arm up like a cat paw. There's one that's sitting on the ground and one that you can sit on the edge of things. And then the mannequin takes on some different poses like they're at a photo shoot, posing with the coin and really go into town. Maybe they'll bring you good luck, who knows? And there's a mystery one. You can kind of see the position they're in. Is it me or does that silhouette look a bit more masculine? Could it be a male mannequin Neko? Next, we've got some more cats and they're shaped like batteries. So you can fit them into any devices that use AA batteries. Now they do look very snug and cozy in there. It's very cute, but would you ever use these? Say you put them in your TV remote control and then it doesn't work, it's full of cats. But on the other hand, when else do you find a cat battery? So tell me in the comments if you'd buy these ones. And finally, we've got some love letters, but these aren't just letters. Although maybe it'd be fun to have a gachapon machine with loads of random love letters inside. As well as being letters, these are also handkerchiefs. So you can take your heartfelt love letter and blow your nose on it. 
There's one on pink paper with hearts. There's one on yellow lined paper, like from someone at college. And this one looks like it's from a child. While it's called a handkerchief here, I think maybe it's supposed to be more of a small towel than a handkerchief for blowing your nose. In Japan, it's quite common for people to carry around a small towel just because it's useful to use as a mat or to wrap things in or because a lot of public bathrooms don't have paper towels. But still, you're taking your precious love letter and drying your hands with it. So that's it. We've had some cute gachapon, some fantastic ones, and some that make you think, why on earth did they make that? Tell me in the comments which of them you'd buy, and I'll see you not next Thursday, but the week after. Bye-bye.